Yes, here we go. Feels good. It's the the relaunch, basically, of uh, the Rabbit Season podcast, and uh, we'll get further into that later on. But you know, without further ado, uh, I want to introduce artist, director, actor, comedian, family man, um, someone also who in inspires me uh, with his positive side, and I'll, I'll get more to that in later in the podcast. But uh, Concrete is going to take a jump down the rabbit hole. Right now. Thanks for coming, man, and uh, we coming, w- welcome to the Rabbit Season podcast, bro. Mm. And uh, this is uh, basically the official relaunch. But um, briefly, like you've been by here before, and you you've mentioned, you know, through the B side show and stuff. But uh, you kind of mentioned you've seen like the changes that we've made yeah. here. You can see that is evident. But we're still here as a platform uh, for hip hop. And with that being said, we're about to hit our 10 year anniversary officially tomorrow. Um, this is pre-recorded, so it's actually a Sunday. We're chilling on a Sunday afternoon here. Um, but we've got to see um, you evolve, uh, like everything you've done artistically um, throughout these years. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of, we're, we're going to go backwards and kind of jump back to where we are now. But, bro, you've you've had a cool journey in this entertainment business. You're just getting started. That's what's crazy, bro. But. We've known you as an <laughs> as an artist, as a rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I remember originally. I believe your name was uh, Beretta. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, <laughs> I I know about that too. But um, speak on that a little bit. Uh, um, starting <coughs> from the artist side, obviously, you know, the music started you into this. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, first and foremost, so man, I want to say well, congratulations to you guys. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, ten, ten years, years in the industry, in the industry that is so difficult to. Difficult to make yourself yourself branded for people to recognize it, for people to say, hey, man, I've heard your radio show, I've heard your podcast, or I've heard other podcasts that are through your, through your, you know, through your platform that you provide here. Uh, Man, you know, congratulations, man. Ten years is a big feat. It's not easy. I know how to (laughs) say it. Yeah. 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 If if anybody knows, you know. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's, um, it's been fun to see you guys growing, keep pushing. And I mean, realistically, dude, like, if you haven't been on the Visa show, you're not doing something right. And uh, yeah, to be on this show, man, it's definitely like a staple of Los Angeles hip hop, and I'm just, man, dude, I'm happy to be here. Man. Thank you, thank brother. You, brother. Thank, you, thank you, man. Hey, so, hey, so, so talk, about, talk about, about it, man. From the, the early, early years, years um, did 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 you, did you know that you would? Because it's, it's safe to say you're not you're not, you're not scared, scared to evolve, to evolve also. also. Yeah, because, because everything, everything from the original moniker, moniker change, right. and then, and then still, being still being an artist, but then kind of transitioning as you went. Yeah, how's that been? You know, you know, you know, like, like, like the thing about it is that it's 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 probably perceived as in like I am slowly peeling off certain certain like talents that I may have, right? But to me, it's like I remember when I was six years old, seven years old, uh, maybe even eight. Like we lived on we lived on Kiwi Street in San Fernando, and I remember grabbing my dad's camera, and this is around the time that I was watching. Uh, and I should have been watching the show, it was Martin, Martin, right? Yeah. And, he, and he had this character where it was this little kid, and he played this little kid that would come up to the door, and he had, like, snot nose, and, you know, he was doing, like, oh, yeah. right? right? So I remember watching that, and I remember duplicating that, even at that age, dude, like, at, eight, at, like, seven or eight, right? And I also remember my next-door neighbor, he had, like, a record player. And, you know, like, being a DJ and all that stuff, like, at that, At that time, time, to be able to have a record, record like, like, or, like an actual, actual turntable, turntable to me was like the dopest things, things, you know? Yeah. And I remember yeah. I would go over there and he would let me just play records. And, and you know, you like, know I've, been I've been involved in music. music. I've been, I've, been, I've, like, I've, 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 I've had love for comedy. You know, but definitely like my first love was definitely music when it came to, you know, me being able to be in it, right? Uh, I've always yeah. wanted to be an actor. Uh, I remember to trying to tell my mom, and it was like you know, it was too like expensive to go to school. It was, it uh, was uh, you know, you know, it was tough to actually, actually, you know, get you know, in the industry if you didn't know anything about it. You know what I'm saying? It's not an industry where you can just say, hey, okay, I'm going to go to this actress and I'm going to be an audition, right? So the next thing I was going to was my heart is So I remember they, you know, they they got me, you know, my dad got me like a DJ set. So I, was a, I started DJing when I was like maybe what, 13 P, 13, 14. And I was doing clubs and like at 16, I was like, 
I was the head DJ at, at a 21 and over club, you with know. The, with the vinyl and all that? Yeah, it was called the Tequila Room, dude. And it was like, I was headlining that show, dude. I was 15, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was, it was, you know, to me, it was always like, okay, cool, you know? And then DJing kind of like, it didn't fulfill my music part, you know? To me, I was like, cool, now I want to make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and I think that's a gradual situation when it comes to musicians, right? Like we yeah. start DJing and we want to make beats and all that stuff, you know? So that was my natural progression too. I started making beats. And because nobody could, nobody that I knew at the time, you know, I always knew what I wanted to hear. So when I would have homies over or, or something, I was like, ah, nah, I want somebody else on my beat. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, I messed all you, but surely I started just rapping on my own stuff. And then uh, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin, cousin P-Dog, he started writing, he started writing like, you know, like, you've been rocking together, and that's just like, like diapers and shit. So, so anything he did, I 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 was DJing, he was like, handling promotions and shit, you know, getting the girls, getting the music up to, you know, and then, and then, when I started, when I started, you know, when I started doing the, you know, the production, we started rapping together, and that was just kind of like a natural progression, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and you know, that's something that's interesting because, you know, you know like, my like my brother uh, produces the show as well as the B-side, and, yeah. and, uh, and uh, that's something that, that we, just we just had this conversation. He's like, yeah, yeah music kind of got me to, like, I guess the connection maybe that I have now because I was also trying my hand at art. I mean, I still, I mean, I'm going to stand by my shit. I still got CDs that are pretty hard. I'm not, uh, I'm going to have to say, but, um, but, you but know, my progression has always been also like I've always respected like the people that put the shows together. Right. So then me being part of actually getting the whole shows or right. or um you know introducing or even getting some of the artists to be on certain I'm talking about live events and stuff is yeah. like that was I guess my progression but I've always respected that I for just let there's people that want to come see a show and they don't have to know all the little stuff that goes along behind the scenes right but they get to see a good ass show right, right. and i've always right. respected that dog so. yeah you know i mean i think it's just like the love for it you yeah. know it's like you don't even you know even when i was doing the music when i was rapping you know when i was 19 and all that like you know to me like the main goal at the time i remember was like i have to get a song on the radio i had to get a song on the radio you know and I, you know, I, I accomplished that when I was like 19. I, I think it was like 19 or 20. You know, Felly Fell played my first record. It was called no, Certified no. Kush. This is when I was managed by uh, Sean and Lewis, along with Steve LaBelle. And you know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, they, you know, they felt that I was, you know, next. And along came my boy. You know what I'm saying? That was rocking with me like my bro. Uh, you know, an RP full clip. You know, I was my brother. And uh, that was the first record that we popped off on the radio. And to me, that was like, okay, cool. Like. You know, no, he, he, like even at 19, 19, I felt like that was a monkey off my back because I was like gun ho for it for like, you know, since I was like 13, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool, we accomplished that. You know what I'm saying? We did that. And then I remember I, I cried, dude. I was literally in the living room with the homies and I was like, man, dude, it's definitely, that's me. But that's, <laughs> you know what but, I'm saying? But that's, and this was like when radio, like when Terrestrial Radio was breaking records, like when you yeah, just couldn't yeah. go to Spotify and listen to the next hot record. Mm -hmm. So having a record on the radio was like, yo. I mean, even now, I mean, I think it still holds a lot of weight, but I'm saying like in that time when there was no nothing else. They were like more, huge. even more of, you know, it's, they're ca <laughs> called influencers, but yeah. I think at that time it was even more so because yeah. like you didn't have such an open market to it. But plus, even if you did, yeah. The fact that some of these DJs were co-signing these albums, yeah, that gave it that yeah, extra. yeah, and it's like you know, I mean, I kind of see it like you know, it's like you got to be able to at least try to get to that level. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Try to get to that level, yeah. and 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 hopefully that somebody hears that record one day. It's gonna be like, yo, I think I think that's the hot record right there. You yeah. know, like like mm -hmm. I can actually play this. You know, and it, and you've been a part of a lot of you know dope albums, videos, and all that stuff, and um, you know when you were kind of doing your you know the music video side of, of you as the artist were you kind of always um did you catch yourself going oh maybe they probably should have done it this way or even <laughs> or, or, or even telling the dude like you know what Doug, i think we should come from this angle but did you yeah, kind of catch i that? mean i mean you know what like me shooting videos was a way for me to get away from like not wanting to do music no more yeah but it was like a scapegoat for me because it was like a it's like a way to, for me to cheat my heart. You know, it's like I know I wanted to be a rapper and I wanted to do all that, but I got a family to feed and I got to find a way to make money 
in an industry that I that I, that I love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of just had to take you know take a different route, but at the same time, like I couldn't have took that step without every like all the footwork that I did as a rapper because when I when I started doing videos, I called back to all the homies that I knew that rapped. Yeah. Hey, dog, let me get you know let me let me do a free video for you. Yeah, oh, you for where? Oh yeah, let's do it. I was like, dude, and we'll slap it on YouTube. This is when YouTube was like, it was barely popping yeah, it was off. Coming out, yeah. You know. So having a video on YouTube was like, oh shit, okay, I can see you online. All right, all right, you know, like I'll go check it out. And it was like a full length video. It was like, you know, it was like HD at the time, 1080, you know. Mm -hmm. And again, man, it was just, you know. But yeah, I mean, do I, you know, every time I would do a video and I would see you, someone drop the video, I'm like, man, that could be me. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that should be me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, man, I decided to just stick and you know learn learn the craft of directing, learn the craft of bringing the vision to life you know and i think and i think ultimately that's what we all do right like when somebody writes a book the next best yes, thing is for somebody, somebody to create the vision to your book right like that's what they say based on this novel based on this book based on this story and in and, and, and in music it's like you create a, a, a song and ever since cameras were around they started creating music videos for these things you know what i'm saying because people want to see the visual representation of that record and for me to be able to be in music and then learn that side, I think it's a, uh, you know. Well, and I, and I, and I think the artists, artist too, at the time, time like, not, not only, not only um, did, you um, did you have established relationships, relationships with some with of them, them but, but they know coming from the music side that you really can see the vision to make it to a visual yeah, as well. Yeah, you know, I was able to communicate with yeah. rappers on a different level. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of... A lot of directors, as essentially, like, they might know music, but they might not understand, like, the concept of story progression through a record, right? Or they might be like, you know, like, I can tell an artist, like, hey, dude, and on that eighth bar, we're going to slow it down. And he'd be like, all right, yeah. He would understand what exactly what I'm saying, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it was it was easier for me to be able to communicate with rappers, which 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 created, you know, a really good lane for me. So yeah. so during that time when the music was really popping, when you got your song on the radio, yeah. were you still, like, um, paying attention to, like, filmography or, or uh, I wasn't, film buff or anything. You know what? I remember at the time I had shot a music video for myself and it was for a movie called, it was for a song called Cold Desires. You can actually see it right now on YouTube. Oh, yeah. you can find anything on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still up there, but it's under the name Beretta because I used to go as yeah, Beretta yeah. when I was when I was really heavily rapping and, you know, really going uh, like down that path. Yeah. I was, yeah. I went under Beretta and then I changed my name to Concrete. Um, And then, uh, yeah, man, after that it was just like, yeah, videos. Man. And, and, you know, that's the thing. Um, that don't get it twisted man he he was spit he has bars and all that stuff it wasn't like he got into video because he couldn't rap he just saw a, a different lane like he was saying and you know that was kind of uh one of the things i had on on my list here is kind of how you saw that lane and sometimes it's you know we we have to step back and do what we have to do for our family and still yeah. figure our way through it, yeah. but you still stay true, like you said, because you're still doing what you love, and this shit is dope, man. Some of the videos you put out are crazy, dog. Yeah, I mean, dude, I was, you know, like I had to find a way, like I said, I, like I had to find a way to make a living and not leave the industry, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, the next best thing, I was like, cool, I want to direct music videos, like I want to shoot, I want to be able to do this stuff, you know. And I remember, I think like the first piece I did was like a documentary, and it was for a rap group out of Riverside. And I remember I did that, and I was like, "Yo!" And I showed it to a couple people, like, "Yo, this shit was really good." You know, it may not, have, it may not have looked good, but the intention of what I was trying to create was there. You know, so uh, yeah, man, I just kept directing, kept directing, and you know, like, it's really been like, you know, man, you could say I've seen the world through a lens, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was, I was blessed to be able to do that, man. I mean, and I'm still doing it now. It's just, you know. The future holds, I think, me being in front of the camera a little more at this point, you know? And yeah. and I think it worked out the way it did because I needed to be ready for this. Well, and then, <laughs> well, and that's another thing. I'm glad you said, you said that, because, that because, because, you know, you, you, know, you, know, mentioned, you mentioned, like, a, like lot a lot of these things, these things like, like getting, getting into the into producing, producing side, side and then the, and the filming, filming stuff, stuff is, like, like, like a lot of it was out of necessity, not just for the family, but just because you couldn't rely on someone else to do it. Yeah, 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 I mean, of course, I mean, I just think like everyone else, like, I feel that, you know, I had a certain vision and there yeah. was a certain way I wanted the things to get done. And sometimes, you know, you may not make a lot of friends during that time because they may be thinking like, oh, like you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you might run people the wrong way or whatever. But, you know, luckily, man, I was able to work through all the, you know, through all the good stuff. And 
I've always, you know, been able to connect with people on, on, on whatever frequency we're on and, you know, always stay my name clean, man, and, you know, just have fun in this industry. And, you know, that's kind of... Uh, um, you, know, you know, the same, the same like, like how, how I, like how I to like to approach things and just keep doing your, doing thing, your thing, you know, you know trying to try keep, keep your name clean, clean and, and just keep doing your work. work and, and, you know, not you know, everybody, everybody has to has like you, but if you ain't doing nobody wrong, like, there shouldn't be anything they have to say that detour that. Exactly. I mean, you know, at one point, you know, like at some point, people will respect your hustle, you know, like no matter what happens. And, you know, for me, it's been it's been interesting to go from, you know, from what I thought, I, I wanted to be the greatest DJ, and then it was like, nah, I want to be the greatest producer, nah, I want to be the greatest rapper, nah, yeah, hold on, on, I want to I I make videos, nah, wait, hold on, I got to direct movies, no, wait, hold, you know what I'm saying? And now, now to in front, and now to in front of the camera, which, yeah, so, so, let so let me, as we as transition, transition into that, that well, I want to ask, ask like, like yeah. did you already, did you already see, see, you know, from doing the music videos, um, kind of, you were already, kind of writing, I guess they call treatments or whatever in your head, so, so, you know, you, you, know, know, you, when you were doing some of your first, 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 some of the some artists that you were mentioning, you were mentioning um, um, how you started, how you started doing, doing videos, videos um, you would add, you would a, add little a little bit extra, because it wasn't just film, film, film a video, video like, like, there would be a little, be a little comedy, comedy involved, involved, like a little, like bit, a little of bit of acting involved. In. involved in. So did so you kind of see yourself transitioning that way as far as, I guess, you know, a treatment is concerned? I mean, you know, like, I mean, I always see it like, I always tell the artists, you know, send me the record, you know, and a lot of, you know, like when the artist sends me the record, it's always like, you know, let's like, let's see what it is, you know, and, and, and sometimes you want to add a little comedy. Sometimes, you know, you, you can't, you know, like there's a certain seriousness, like certain seriousness to the record that you want to, you know, that you want to keep, but you always want to give the artist at least the vision that they've always gone for, you know? And, um, and uh, I've, always I've always wanted, wanted to, add to add comedy to stuff, stuff you know, but, you know, but, you know like, in this industry, industry and as far as me being a director for music videos, it's, it's more like you got to follow the artists and what they want and, and, and what they see for their video. You even, know what I'm saying? Even if they want, it's probably not that great, but it still is what they want. Well, yeah, I mean, and we always try to make it to where, okay, cool, we convey a message and we're both on a happy medium, you know, because, you know, it's like... When I when direct, I say, like, say a, like a, a short film, film or whatever, film or, or a movie, movie right? Like, 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 the story, the story is already story there, there, right? Like, like I already know that I'm going in to direct this specific story, story right? right? And, and in a music the video, it's kind of like the artist always kind of asks you, like, hey, man, send me a treatment, let me know what you think. And I'm like, well, it's your record. Like, what were you thinking when you wrote this? You know what I'm saying? But I think, like, going into that a little or my brother was going, I think, like, you know, hip hop is an art form. Uh, most, uh, of most of the time, everybody, everybody wants to act hard. hard. So, sometimes so sometimes it's hard, it's hard to, to get an artist, artist kind of conform to maybe doing something. something. And leaving yourself, yourself a little, a little more, more open, but a little more vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Vulnerable, yeah. vulnerable, but they don't understand, they don't understand how, much how much more of that more reaches, reaches an audience, an audience though, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and, and honestly, like, to be completely 1,000 with you, that's one of the reasons why I wanted this, why I decided to really stop rapping. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I got to a point in my life where I was like, Okay, do okay, I want to keep, keep holding this persona, persona of, like, of like Beretta and Concrete and like this person that essentially has to always be on and feel like he ain't threatened by nothing, nothing, nothing right? right? It's like, it's like rappers, rappers always have to carry, carry that persona. That persona. And, and again, again some, of some of these rappers, rappers obviously, man, like that's really that's what they do in their life, right? Like that's really what they do, right? And then there's rappers that don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to stay true to myself and stay say, hey, you know what? Most of the people that know me behind the scenes know I'm always clowning. They know I'm always laughing. You know, and I want I want people to see that side of me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I didn't even think of, like, doing something like how, say, Ludacris did it, right? Ludacris was able to be dope rapping and then mix it with the comedy because when he came out, that's what it was. All his videos were comedy. You know, he had a very flamboyant way of making people laugh. and You know what I'm saying? So it was really cool, man. Like, I... I thought it was dope, you know? And then he was a radio DJ. I think yeah, some, yeah, some, some, some of his, his uh, uh, I guess, I, guess, I, guess I, don't I don't know what the word is, but it gave, it gave him some of his understanding of, of how of things work. Yeah, because realistically, like, you know, to me, like, I wasn't I was doing shit in the streets no more, right? I wasn't in the streets, man. I was married, like, 
I had a kid now, so it's like the the conversation that I would have with these rappers would be completely different, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I wasn't gonna sit there and be like, "Yo, I'm in the streets." Like, come on, oh, man, I'm at the crib. Or I'm out at the club. Like, I'm at the crib with my kids. You know, yeah, the like, only bottles I'm popping is with my kids. Like, yeah. Yeah. And plus, I mean, I just wanted to show this people. You know, like I wanted to show this side of people because I feel like, you know, it's like. I think it deserves more attention to like give you know give this comedy to people and you know like when they when they message like when they message me or they DM they're like yo man like I'm I'm like going through depression and like I'll I'll pick up my phone and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll see that and it's like I'll see your skit man and it just and it helps you and I'm like damn man it kind of becomes a responsibility oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, understand I understand that, that part like, of it all. you know and, so, and, and maybe like that's not what i intended to do because i didn't, I didn't I intend for none of this to happen mm-hmm. like this like you know what i'm saying i just kind of wanted to just show people show the comedy, comedy but then they send you these, these messages you're like oh damn okay yeah. hold on i can't stop yeah because you, you know? you're helping people and, and that's Cause that, yeah because at this point like I, this is yeah man it's like it's you know what i'm saying like it's yeah. 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 you know like and, and that, that's, that's crazy because uh, it, it kind of, like I like said, I we've, said been we've been following, following your movement, movement for, a for a long time, time, you know, especially having this platform here. But um, it, it seemed, and maybe I'm off too, but it caught me off guard when all of a sudden, like, I don't know if I even caught the very first kit, but I remember when they hit, like, Instagram and, like, yeah. I was like, damn, dude, this is, shit is, this is funny as fuck. And then... I started seeing other people I know like reposting and then you did, yeah. <laughs> like, but it seemed like that kind of hit out of nowhere. Wait, did you, what made you decide to do that for the very first one that you did drop? Like what made you just say, fuck it, this is the way I'm, this is the route I'm going to take. The very, I thought the, that was crazy. The bro. Ver- well, I mean, I'll tell you the, 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 I'll tell you the breakthrough, right? Like the breakthrough finally for me was in 2018, uh, I got robbed for all my equipment. And and now Rob, man, they because you know Rob is like more like intentional, like they pulled the gun, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they they stole all the gear out of my truck, mm-hmm. right? And uh, when I tell you they stole all of my gear, man, they take the shit that I accumulated for ten years over, like doing Crazy, this yeah. doing this film stuff, you know, from laptop to every like yeah. camera, everything, man. They just, you know, like they just kind of tore the foundation of everything I had done for the last ten years, you know. And I was really going through a dark time, and I remember I posted something. And it was probably the most vulnerable post I had ever put. Everything prior to that was like, yo, I'm shooting over here. I'm, I'm in New York. I'm in Paris. Like, it was cool stuff, but, like, nobody really cared, right? And so that was the most vulnerable I had ever been. And I remember I posted it on Instagram, and I was even, like, kind of, like, almost crying, man, about my gear. I was like, man, if anybody has any information, I was like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember this time, bro. <laughs> you know? And, uh. I remember, you know, my cousin Bruce Rock, um, J Cas, man. Shout out to the whole Twenty Seven Junkies fans. Oh, those yeah, are my those fucking dogs, right? What up, there. homies? Those are my dogs. Bro. They came through doing like this, like this, they did like this fundraiser, man. And, and, and I was able to get back on my feet. Like I remember, I got a laptop. It was really cool, man. And they kind of got me back, right? But at this point, like I didn't, I didn't have nothing, bro. Like it was again, I was back to square one. Like I remember, I had a little camera. But by this time, people are already calling me for, like, videos on a red cam. And, you know, they had, they, man, they took gear that was, like, yo, it was, like, you know, like, 40 racks worth of gear, Oh, bro. shit, yeah. I'm you not, know what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. Yeah. So, you know, I went through a really tough time. I remember it was, like, I think it happened in, like, August. It was August 23rd when it happened. And then September, October. It wasn't until, like, mid-November, man, that I was, that I had, like, I snapped out of it. And I, I was like, man, you know what? I I remember I was just sitting there. I was, sitting there. <laughs> I was looking at my computer. I'm like, man, what am I going to do? And then I was looking at YouTube. And this video of this older black gentleman was singing in a subway in New York. And when I was watching this video, I was like, my face just changed. And I was like, yo, I got to do a reaction video to this shit, right? So then I, I did the reaction video. And then I posted it. And then I think I got like... I don't know, bro. I got like 15 comments, and I was like, "Oh, oh shit! I, yeah. got, yeah. Man, man. I got 15 <laughs> comments, and I haven't and replied I haven't to replied any of them." I, did. I was like, "So I got 30 if I do." Okay, let me okay, let me reply. And I remember I got 30 comments, and I was like, "All right, cool. This is cool." And then whatever, like the next day passed, and then I did another skit, and the second skit was kind of like the one that was like. No, 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 no. I had done another, another one. one. I did one where like a little girl, she's at a birthday party, and she, she blows out the candles or tries to blow out the candles, and her hair catches on fire, and I'm like the Theo at the party reacting to it. 
And I remember that that one did like like 45 45 or 50 50 comments, comments, right? right? And I was like, okay, okay. all right. All right. That's cool, cool, you know? know? And then it wasn't until I did one one where the lady, some lady is stealing some stuff from like a liquor store. And I'm wearing like a red jacket. And that was the one that was, that kind of like just pulled the lid off. Because then immediately I got like a thousand followers overnight. And then, and then, you know, I, I think that one had like 200 comments. It was, it was just, just a viral, like viral they call it. it, it yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, for me, it went viral yeah, for yeah, other people. It was yeah, like, yeah, 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 it did pretty good. Well, I mean, it was you know, dog face viral. Right, yeah, right. Shout out to Yeah, shout out to dog face. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like dog face viral, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I just started like being more elaborate. I was like, okay, cool. You know, like, what can I start doing in a minute? How can I make people laugh from zero seconds to 59 seconds? I think what people people don't get get too is like it's it's a combination of of, uh, of, uh, like like not only your acting acting and your reactions are are fucking fucking on point 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 and hilarious, hilarious, bro, but it's like like the way you edit edit and write on point. Also, (laughs) also makes a difference, bro, because that's what people are seeing. It's like a big part of it. Yeah, yeah, and and again, that's what like that's what me being in film got me. Yeah, yeah. Right? right? Everything, everything is a, is a everything, that's everything that's happening right now, bro, is a culmination of what's happened in the last 18 years of my life, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Then, so then, when I started, when I started doing started the videos like that, like, 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 like when I started getting really intricate with the remix videos, right? Where I put myself in the McDonald's and I was like, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Or the airport. Or the airport, airport, the airport yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So then so I was like, okay, all the filming taught me how to add the airport sound, how to make it look like, you know, the lighting was correct and how to do all that stuff and the background noises and what would the airport sound like? Okay, cool, I got that. And we put it you know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm so then, so I, then I, I, really I really immerse immerse myself, myself into being in that position. position. And, and realistically, man, man whatever you whatever post on, 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 on social, social media, media, people will believe if it looks real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? Right. Because, because I, remember I remember people, remember people, people would post the skits. The skits. Well, I mean, well, I mean, obviously, obviously not, 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 not some of the ones are, like, clearly intended to be a joke, right? But, like, the McDonald's one? Oh, you're in your When I mean, like, there was one McDonald's one where people were, like, Oh, I can't, oh, I can't believe, believe that fool would be on the camera. camera. Like, like, oh, he oh, didn't get he in. Didn't like, why didn't he help? help? And I'm reading the comments, and I'm like, these people think I'm really there. <laughs> so, 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 but no, as but the director the side of you, you got to be, be going, you got to be going. Yes. Absolutely. I did, because I, 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 I made you think yep. something yep. that's not there through social media, right? Like, that's why it's hey, hotel. Hey, hey, and to that, to that, we say, look. There you go. There you go. Hey, that's your good yeah. yeah. See, we, See, do, we this do this live, live uh, on the, uh, while we're recording, but, but, right, right. Um, um, but, but you know, that's, you know, one, that's of one of the moments during the show. The sh- we, we just take a moment to reflect, and this shit was really dope. Your, your transition, and what I wanted to say is, like, some of my favorite – okay, these are recent ones. I've yeah. liked all the ones from the beginning. Yeah. But, dude, you guys just take – um uh Fuck, I'm forget. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting his but the Jay Valentino. Re- there you go. I'm sorry, I forgot. My bad, dog. But um, like you guys is fucking rebel takes. They're fucking yeah. hilarious to me b- yeah. because, like, I was around in that era too, and right. I and like some of the stuff like with the Nas and the different stuff, and you guys' face facial expressions off of each other. Like that's that's like true comedy, dog. This shit, <laughs> this shit is fucking hilarious, bro. I, you know what, dude? I'm making fun of myself. I was a yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I think I knew it, dog. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I mean, and I was the youngest rebel in the crew, but I remember seeing all the bigger homies, and I was like, "Look at this fool." Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, he just bleached the bangs. All right, I got, yeah. I got, <laughs> oh, yeah, I got, I got you that. next, perro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 realistically, man, like I feel like I don't try to do comedy out of stuff that I don't understand. Yeah, you know, I think comedy comes naturally when you understand the subject and yeah, you can exactly. relate to it. Yeah. You know, at least for me, right? So. When I try to make comedy, I try to, like, you know, I have a saying, man. I can't make everybody laugh, but I try to make comedy for everybody, mm-hmm. you know? And at that point, I at least feel in my heart that, I, that I'm that i trying to feed the masses, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, I bet, I bet though, that even younger cats or, like, some of your, like, newest following or whatever yeah. that are, are fans of some of your work, I bet you they went back and looked at, actually, because that's how smart these kids are nowadays. Yeah. Like, the youngsters, they probably went back and, like, checked out some of the rebel stuff and go oh now i got you know what i mean yeah, Doug? yeah so no nah, for we sure we were there but i'm sure people still do their research and go yeah that yeah, shit you is know, funny as shit and definitely like i knew that you know like when when we did the rebel stuff like 
I knew that that was that was like my my era. You know, like when I look at my you know like my um my analytics on Instagram, it said that a lot of people that followed me were twenty five to thirty five. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. I think something like Rebels would definitely hit because that's my like that's the demographic and yeah man it was a winner you know what i'm saying <laughs> like it was a winner and obviously i mean staying like you know staying apart i don't you know i'm not really the trends kind of guy like i'm not the one that like i don't i don't i won't do a trend just because it's trending oh, what about like so you're not on the on the tiktok yet are you on that nah i'm on tiktok but what i'm saying is that like if it's a hot video that's happening oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I i won't do it because then I, I i always feel like i gotta go against the grain yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying to create the trend, not be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and and, and I let people yeah. copy your work. Yeah, exactly. Right? You know, you know, and, and and it's happened already, but you know, <laughs> we just we just we just keep pushing. You know. Yeah. No, but how is that that TikTok though in in relation to Instagram? Like, what's the difference? It just has better editing tools, or what? Like, you know what? Like, I don't use TikTok. Like, I don't edit on TikTok. Like, I, like all my. All my work is pre-edited. Oh, okay. You know, and then we just put it on the platforms. You oh, know what I'm saying? Okay, I see. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, like I. I think, you know, realistically, like, I I feel like my content is not made for, like, social media, you know, like, like, I want to have a TV show, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And I go. think, I think that's the plan. And it's like, I think that's what's been kind of hard for people to kind of, like, decipher, because when you don't understand something, you're like, okay, yeah, and, and it's not like, I'm not trying to pound my own chest, but I see it in my comments, like, people will be like, yo, like, you need to have your own TV show. Yeah, yeah. Because it's that kind of content, because it's that kind of content, and it's that kind of stuff that I'm putting out, you know? Yeah. And uh, that, you know, that to me, like, that's my main goal, is to hopefully get, like, a TV show going, or, you know, get a movie going, and, and that's like... You yeah, know, like, I know that that is going to happen, because just because, th like, there's so much content there. I could see it, like, oh, let me mention, before we transition into that, one of my other favorites is Bro, like you've established relationships with a lot of people that you've worked with and um it's just kind of dope the chemistry as far as the comedy back and forth like you know there's been stuff with like George Lopez and like you know some funny ass shit is like the the baby bash one too. You know, I know he's a homie of yours too, but it's just like like one of the times when he when he comes home and goes, dog, you can't be butt naked in my poo, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. That, that shit was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, 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 I laughed. Laugh, like, like, you know how they say, LOL. Yeah. I like, yeah. literally, literally, I don't literally, I don't remember where I was, where I was yeah. but I laughed yeah. loud as fuck wherever I was, dog. The shit just, man, it was so funny, dog. You're in there, like, pretty much butt naked in his poo. You can't be butt naked in my poo, dog. It's funny, dog. You know, when me... Me and Batch always had, like, a really like business a relationship, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, it was like, I would direct his music videos and, all right, just try to make the big homie happy. You yeah, know, it was yeah. kind of simple. It was no more than that, you know? Yeah. And when, you know, like, I always knew he had a funny side because, man, he rode with Chingo for a long oh, time and yeah. they did a bunch of stuff together, you know? So, you know, he was living out here and uh, I just started seeing him more, more and more every day. You know, like, we were kind of started, you know, doing lunches and shit and started working on more projects and doing this and doing that. So then... I remember one day, we, yeah, we were driving, we were, I was already doing skits, and he was like, hey, man, your shit's kind of funny, but never did I think I, I would ask him, and he'd be down to do a skit, you know, it's kind of more like, fuck it, let me give it a shot, you know, I was like, hey, dog, I'm, I'm in the car, and we're, I think we're going to Louis. uh, oh, where you started uh, singing a song, yeah, right? yeah, 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 shout out to OG Louis, you know, King Louis, um, we were going to his studio, and uh, I was like, hey, man, do you mind if we just do a skit, he's like, oh, what you got, <laughs> I was like, all right, he's hooked. I was like, dog, this is the idea because I've been chewing the idea for like two nights, man. I was like, just sitting. I was like, next time I see him, I'm gonna ask him. Um, next time yeah, I see yeah, him, yeah. I'm gonna ask him, you know. And then sure enough, man, he was like, all right, bet, let's do it. And every time I give a bash, it's one hit of quitters, bro. That dude is a genius. He knows. He understands comedy. He understands the timing. Yeah, ti timing. Timing. That's you know important. Yeah. He understands it, and uh, dude, that's my dog. Yeah. That's my dog. Shout out to Bash. Hey, that shit is is funny as shit. You said that, dog, because. Um, that's it, like timing and understanding, like just real quick what can make somebody's day and what's funny and like yeah, yeah, crazy. you know, and it's you know like, you know like you gotta remember, man, you only got a minute, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we have to do something again that you know, and and he's always knocking it out. He's all like, did we get it? Because he's even interested. He's like, did we get it? And then we'll watch. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's yeah, it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And once we're laughing, bro, then then we're good. Because at the end of the day, like if I if it doesn't make me laugh, it ain't going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. 
you know, like if it doesn't make me laugh, it's, it's do you not going to. you have a, a favorite one, like w- one that you think is the funniest of the, uh, of the ones that you've done, like or maybe one or two that like you just personally like you're, they're like your favorite skits that you've done? Oh damn, man! It hasn't been done. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, there you it's, go. There it's you the go. one that's not done yet. It's the one that's not done yet. <laughs> nah, me. I mean, I mean, if you really wanna, you know, like. Uh, if you really want to, because I hate doing interviews and not answering questions, so I, I, I hate doing that. <laughs> so, you know, it's probably the one with my dad and he's in the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> I, saw, I don't know if I um, remember that one, but I remember the one with like you're working on the car with them and you, how yeah. disappointed <laughs> yeah. your face. Yeah. That's what makes it so funny, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. The one with my dad in the bathroom means a lot to me. How was he like when you asked him to start doing that? He's a good sport. He like. Oh like, yeah, he, no, he. Into it. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Do my, dad, my dad's one of the funniest men oh, I that's know, right. <laughs> and I'm blessed to like been able to witness it. And all you yeah, have to do is tell him you don't gotta do nothing. Just talk to me like you normally <laughs> yeah. do. Yeah, I mean realistically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, realistically, and but you know, but again, my dad, because I get it from my dad. My dad's always been funny around me, and his uh-huh. timing, bro. Like if my dad would have went to auditions yeah. to any like <laughs> Spanish movies, bro, he would have got it. Like he would have yeah. got, he would have got the part. You know, my dad's yeah, that good, right? Sure. And, uh, you know, so we like, you know, we, and, and, and sometimes, don't get me wrong, sometimes I do catch him slipping, you know, I don't want people to think that it's like, it, but he obviously, I mean, there's some where we actually prep and there's some that I have to catch him slipping because that's oh, the only way I'm going to get a real reaction, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but my dad's a pro, man. You know, my dad's a pro, you know, and definitely the last kid, you know, that last kid, you know, with him in the bathroom, definitely. That, that's probably the one that means a lot, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that's it great. means the most to me right now for sure because, you know, like, a week prior to doing that skit, my dad, you know, could have left us, man. He ruptured his aorta. He got uh-huh. rushed to the hospital. And uh, he was in there for, like, you know, a complete seven days. He was in intensive care unit. You know, the doctor was like, yo, you, like, if, if, if he didn't come in, man, like, he wouldn't have been here with us. You know, and, it was, and so it was kind of tough. And I remember, like, that whole week, the day my dad got out the hospital, my son was born. So I remember we did that skit, like, you know, a couple of weeks after just to kind of like, you know, because I, I took my time with him. And he was like, he was the one like, so when are we doing a video? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking dope. And bro. I was like, all right, he's back. My dad's good. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, uh, you know, so we just kind of took it slow. But it meant a lot because, yeah, man, like you never know when it's going to be the last time you're going to be able to share moments with your dad, you know, That's true. or and with it, your mother, you know. And you know what? And all these, you know recent years and you know this one in particular which we'll get more into but um it's it's been trying times for the hip-hop community in general you know not only with just just artists artists and different different producers producers and different things that we're losing or whatever whatever, but but people's people's family family that i know know through through hip-hop like like everybody's everybody's been going through through different things on the in these last you know, you know, I don't know, I don't know three to three whatever, whatever years, years, but it's but it's, it's been it's just been trying times, and it's yeah. it's good to see we can keep each other at least positive, right? Keep working, put some comedy in there, you know what I'm saying? Right. No, so, I get you. Yeah, so that's a good thing. We're here, man. Rabbit Season Podcast. Yo. Concrete in the building. Yo. Concrete live, man. Make yo, yo, sure yo. everybody that ain't already uh, checking out his work, make sure you guys do that. And uh, go back and check out even the videos. He might not want you to see. It's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I took like two down. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> from like, from like, no, because I, I remember like in 2009, I, I remember I was dabbling into like doing comedy on the YouTube, mm. on the old YouTube. And uh, I did a, I did a, a, a To Catch a Predator skit where I kind of, I kind of buried it all. And I was uh-huh. like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take this down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, maybe I pushed the line right here, but I'll get, uh, don't worry, like, you'll who, be back. Yeah, whoever saw it saw you. Can opus know? You know, like <laughs> you keep pushing, keep pushing. Hey, you know, something you you kind of you were uh, talking about is, uh, you know, family, and how that's in such high regard to you, and not saying that isn't with most people, but yeah, there is people that maybe not in as much touch with the family side and. Um, it's good to hear you open up about that because you know i feel the same way too and then things change you you know i've you know i have uh my daughter's uh three you know and i like that's my i have two older stepsons but um my daughter like this happened later for me i was already a little bit older and yeah you know things change a lot but you've always transitioned and figured out a way to keep family first, but still working and sticking and moving, and that's yeah. That's I mean, I think you know, like that's that's like the drive, bro. Yeah, you know, like, but you know, it's like 
once you have, I mean, at least for me, that was that was like my engine. You know, like once I, you know, once I got married, it was cool. It was like me and my girl were just traveling. You know, like we would take little trips and you know mm -hmm. just spend dumb money for no reason. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you know we got pregnant. God bless us with the boy. Uh, you know, Amelika, and it was like as soon as us, you know, because I didn't really feel like a dad. Yeah. You know, I didn't. Re I didn't really feel like a dad yet through the pregnancy. It wasn't until I saw him and I held him. And I was like, I'm gonna go so fucking hard for you, dog. Yeah, yeah. You don't even know. Yeah. You know, it's like, dude, yeah. you're gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. Like, trust me. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it was like, all right, cool. And yeah. it, it was like a switch, bro. Like the moment he was born, I was like, all right, bro, let's get it. Yeah. You know. I'm glad. Hey, I was all like, hey, I'm happy. Like, I'm watching a movie, dog. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Hey, no, because that's how I, that's the same way I felt. It was the yeah. same thing. Like, I didn't yeah. really, like, I'm one of those people, like, you know, if someone tells you, oh, you know, say if you're a music artist, oh, this guy wants to sign you. I don't, uh, the way I grew up, dog, I don't believe shit nobody's got to say <laughs> unless till it happens, right? Till it happens, yeah. So, yeah. so the same thing, like, like what you were saying, that's why it hit me. It's because the same thing, bro. And then we spent, ah, uh, fuck, what was it, like 20-something hours in the, yeah. you know, uh, before she was born, uh, whatever they call that part. I'm, I'm losing my thoughts right now. But just the, the fact that you know, when I actually memory. saw her come out, I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> it's really real yeah. now. And this it's is real. On. Yeah, now It's I, on now. Yeah, now know? it gets real. And don't get yeah. me wrong. I mean, I had the motivation before, and I was just like, yeah. Oh, it's a rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a rap for y'all. Like I'm yeah. this is like I didn't need this. Yeah, let's go now. It's and go then, time. You and know? then, you know, later when they you know, when the whole story unfolds though, they're gonna realize like you you don't understand what how you help me keep going. No, absolutely, man. And I mean, dude, like for you know, m my middle son. Caleb, he's four years old. Hey, oh, speak on it, man. How many yeah. you got now? So man? I got three boys. That's right. I got Malachi, Caleb, and Christian. Christian All is right. about two months old. Shout out to the family, man. You know, but That's I'm, real. you know, going back to Caleb, I missed the birth of my second son. I was actually working in Guadalajara. This is the time when Shit. I was really heavily shooting music videos. And that, like, that I broke my heart, you know, like, mm -hmm. that I wasn't there, you know. And I think that was, like, one of the, Again, those are the sacrifices that you have to make, you know, and it wasn't like I was just gone or I was just like, you know, it was like I was I was literally watching like my son being born like on Facebook Live because I was the only way we were able to see it. And I had the whole block like we were I remember we we shut down a whole block for my boy Sekan's music video in Guadalajara. His whole hood was there like cameras. We had the lights up and everybody was like, yeah. And yeah. if it wasn't for that, dude, I think I would have felt like shit. <laughs> you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. I had everybody share that moment. So it was cool, man. You know, but again, you know, th th those are the small things of the sacrifice where you're just like, man, if I could take that back, I, I definitely but, would. But know? also things happen for a reason and yeah. for it to happen that yeah. way, at least to keep your mind on it. Definitely. Not, yeah. No, I mean, that video went on to do like 20 million, 30 Jeez. million views. You know what I'm saying? So it was, yeah. it, it was. It was still, you know, I mean, it's still helping my career, which in a sense helps me bring, you know, bring food home. How old is you know? your oldest now? My oldest is eight. Oh, okay. Has he ever seen any of your skits? Yeah, dude, he's a, <laughs> he's a skit maker himself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I posted a skit with him uh, that he did. Um, I remember he, uh, his mom got him, you know, um, like a red, um, a red, like little, uh, you know, like puff jacket, right? Like a, like a little vest, you know? And he's, you know, my son, every, every Friday, you know, because I'm a movie buff, like every Friday we do old school, old school movie Friday. Oh, so I play him nothing but 90s classics. So if you ask him about Blank Check, the Mighty Ducks, if you ask him about it, like, you know, Sandlot, any other, he's going to be like, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen, you know, like he knows all of them. You know Goonies? what I'm saying? Uh, Dude, he's seen it all, bro. Yeah, he, he's seen it all. Exactly right, stand by me? Right, yes. He's. I'm all going to go out. My, my girl. Some of mine, like. My girl. Like, dog, he's, he's seen it, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, there's only some that I had to like preview beforehand. And I was like, okay, cool. He ain't ready for this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but you know, like. So, anyways, so he's a big uh, he's a big fan right now. He's a huge fan of uh, Marty McFly right now yeah, and Harry back Potter. To the future, that's so he's on his back to the. So he he went and did a Shit. Back to the Future skit, bro. My brother bro. Shay Whitey just got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> dog, watch it after. Dog, I love that movie, right? So he went back and did a Back <laughs> to the you know like a Back to the Future, and he brought it to me, and I was like, yo, this is, I was like, this is really good. I was like, you edited this? Cause I, I thought for a minute, I was like, my wife hooked him up, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then he he's looking, and he's like. No, nah, dad, I did it. I was like, what? I was like, dude, he, he put on like the little filters to make him look old, like, you know, like like Doc Brown and oh, dude, he's he's good, dude. He's really, really good. Like and 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 he catches on to things really good and uh I mean, all my sons, I mean, you know, definitely the ones that are have character right now like which are uh Malachi and Caleb. Those guys are 
Yeah, man, they got they got that little that little spark. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know, yeah. sometimes it's too good for you know. It's, it's too in good. the family, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you know, sometimes I gotta you know tell because they're too smart sometimes, and you're like, boy, don't you know, cabron. It's crazy hey. how good they are with the technology. The uh, youngsters, huh? Like, oh, dude, my son. With it, yeah, you know? dude, my son's showing me how to do TikToks. I'm like, all right, do it again. What, all right, hold on, what are we doing? He's like, yeah. Dad. Pay attention. I was like, yeah. okay, all right. <laughs> like they, they catch themselves probably saying stuff you've told them. Like, uh, pay attention. Oh yeah. Man. Oh yeah, uh, dude. Oh, dude. Hey, you, you know. Hey, real quick. Back to the future. If that's one of his movies, like, yeah. This is in this SGV area. I've talked about it plenty of the times. The mall. Yeah. The mall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you already mall. knew what I was gonna say. Yeah. Right? I haven't. I haven't taken them there, but we wanted to take them recently because they had the car and like and yeah. they were like. Oh, playing. did they? They did that. Yeah. They had yeah. The car. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. That. They even transformed the sign back to twin yes. pines and everything. Yeah. 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 Oh, twin pines. And and we and, and we missed it because I wasn't I here, it, right? Too. But I took them. I took them to the Back to the Future house, which is in Arlita. We used to live okay, there, yeah. where we had our studio. Remember P. Doug and Arlita. So I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know for a long time, bro. I didn't know for a long time that the house was right around the corner. Yeah. On Beachy Street, and I was like, or on Currington or something like that. And I was like, oh, dude. So I remember I found out the address. I was like, Papa, you want to go somewhere? He's like, where are we going, Dad? I was like, just get in the car. Yeah. Oh, so this is Marty's one of those <laughs> missions. So it was Wait, Marty's, Marty's house. house. It was Marty's house. So I literally I got him off the car, and he was like, what? No, it's not. <laughs> I was like, dude. It's like, dude, look. And I had to take out the Google. I was like, look, you see? You see? He was like. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, man, he was hyped. Hey, Caleb take, was hyped too because he loves it as well. Take a skateboard if you take him to that mall. Just, uh, just, just have him cruising. Yeah, in the yeah right, yeah. right, right. No, no, no. Right now, he 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 found out that that, that the Doc Brown house is available. So now he's like, all along, he's like, Dad, you got to take me to Pasadena. Where's that one at? That was in Pasadena, Dad. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> they did a whole bunch of shit. Hey, yeah. you know what? Oh, one more while we're on I it. took him to the Burger King, too. The one where he's like riding out in the beginning where he hangs on to the car in the beginning. Oh, yeah. After the speaker blows him up in the beginning credits. Remember, oh, that's like, right, yeah. He, he's hey, coming out of the Burger King. That's on Burbank, yeah. Okay, that's in Burbank. Two, two more then, just because they're around here. I just want to say them because you might appreciate them because you're a yeah, yeah. director. But um, uh, what was that movie? Back to School. With Rodney Dangerfield. Okay. What is uh, it? Where he does the triple indie. Ah, got um, you. That's it's right here at Industry Hills. Industry Hills and we home. recently, thing. I recently moved, we moved back to the area. I grew up yeah. in that area, right? So my, like my house, I could literally see the hotel where they filmed in yeah. the, in the, uh, the uh, what do they call the aquatic center right there. Yeah. So. And uh, the other one is, uh, what was that, Ford uh, versus uh, Ferrari? Oh, yeah, at uh, Jim's Burger. Uh, Jim's Burger. I've been eating there since junior uh, high, which is <laughs> probably about 50 years ago. Jim's so. Burger. They, yeah, closed, I it go down. they I closed it down for like oh, a week. Oh, damn. And, 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 no, and just for a week while yeah. they filmed it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But it's still but it's still open. Still yeah. Oh, we got to hit it up. Yeah. Me and my cousin always go to uh, Mom and Pop Burger joints. Oh, oh got, dude, it's the shit. I got yeah. one more, yeah. too. A Good Burger, remember, with uh, Keenan and Of course, yeah. It was right here by the West Covina Mall, actually. No but shit. It's like a okay. Mexican spot now, but they, oh, they, they transformed it to Good Burger for that. So one. usually, yeah, uh, we have Shay's like facts or some of the way. These, these were them. So that, that's you guys just get, ding, ding. Ding, ding. There you, you go. You guys got all there your you go. SGV For film, sure, for sure. So. Nah, nah, quick story, because me and my wife do that too. Like, we'll, we'll look up a few <laughs> different things. And uh, like two months ago, we were going to our friend's house. Shout out to Maddie, Maddie's Closet. She, uh, she lives literally like right four houses down from El Pino. And uh, in East LA, you know, uh -huh. like blood in and blood out. Oh, okay. So we're driving through it, and, and you know, my son's in the back, and uh, you know, me, like, me and my wife are like, babe, look, I saw I was like, damn. And me and my wife are like, tres puntos, yeah. <laughs> and we're kind of, and, we're, <laughs> and my right. son's like, I want to see that movie. I was like, bro, you gotta wait for that one. You ain't ready for that. You ain't ready. I was like, you ain't ready for blood in and blood out, oh, dog. Man, just wait. That's, that's classic <laughs> shit, dog. Like, it's so good. Give dude. me your chon chon. Yo, <laughs> dude, you kidding me, bro? That was that great. One of the greatest movies ever. Fucking pie. You still see memes. Of that guy, dog, Popeye. dog, there's oh, Popeye Popeye and there's, his fucking speedo. There's dog. fan pages. There's yeah. like, I, I mean, dude, it's still like super relevant to what's going on right now, dog. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, especially with Foods Gone Wild and the whole food community oh, and all. Yeah, yeah. It's just they're killing it, bro, man. Yeah. Verify Foods Gone Wild already, damn it. That, oh, that's like a popular costume this year, I yeah, think. Too. Yeah, people are yeah. using the Foods Gone Wild. The most, that. yeah, that was really oh, good. Oh, I seen a couple of the mm -hmm. people I knew doing that yeah. too. Hey, man. So yeah, family, man. It's it's like a. Uh, it, I mean, like, not to say you weren't motivated already. You mentioned that, but just yeah. family just gives a whole different little, like, meaning to it. Like, you know, definitely, man. There's no excuse. You can't sleep. Like, sometimes yeah. you can't sleep in. It's yeah. Like, you, you nah, know you mean? know, and I mean, I think ultimately, bro, just like any building that's down, if, if the foundation ain't right, like, you can't build up, right? So that's yep. like, 
if my home ain't right, bro, like I can't move around. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I, I gotta like be able it. to have that on like, you know, and and you know, I mean, it's a kind of, you know, I don't think if I was, if I, if I was, if I wasn't married, man, I probably wouldn't be doing. I'd probably be a knucklehead. So. <laughs> yeah you know and yeah sh shout out to all our ladies for holding us down yeah and, uh, for real shout keep, out to nikki baby i love you keep us <laughs> in our places absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely man. eclipse is over there shaking his head too <laughs> like yeah you're right <laughs> yeah man shout yeah. out man because yeah man without that dude you know she's my moral compass you know my spiritual compass my everything so it, you know it kind of like you know like dude it's dog every great man has a great woman behind him yeah and i think that's a very known fact and, and if you and if it's not like that then damn fool, you're lucky yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you, you, know? you should yeah that, no but that's something like you that's know? something maybe it's I, you know i don't think it's something lost in old school values but i think that's yeah. the way uh, uh, things sometimes we should strive for is that that backbone and everything behind yeah. us i mean it definitely i mean you know i mean we come from a, you know i mean I, i'm hoping i'm not speaking for it, but we come from a hispanic community you know where whether you're Mexican stuff, like in the in the Latino community, I mean, family has always meant a lot, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I think uh, it's not really a tradition; it's kind of like just the way we've always been, you know. It's like that's 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 just what it is. We take care of ours, and yeah. obviously, I mean, people go through situations and whatever, but nonetheless, man, we're we're caring men, you know. Mm -hmm. right. And you know, that's crazy because we we've seen a, you know, we moved a lot of times growing up. Me and my brother Shea Whitey can attest to this, like. Been it was crazy growing up, like different drug problems in the family and different things, and yeah. we moved around a lot. Went to a lot of different schools, but I always uh, credit that to why I'm so easily able to adapt to different situations is because yeah. I've been in different situations so many times. And yeah. and but with all that being said, I've always held that that uh, family structure to the highest. And so so later when I got old enough. That was one of my goals is to n to not move. Like, I don't want to move if I'm going to have a house. Like, yeah, and if we're going to move up and, you know, things right. are popping, of right. course we're going to move. But I'm saying sure. besides that, I'm going to try to stabilize and not move around every yeah. couple of months, have a new house. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's just yeah, things man. that life has it's, taught us. Yeah, man, it's important, man. Yeah. I mean, so so speaking on that, man, um, this, you know, 2020 has been crazy to say the least, uh, you know a uh, lot of things going on but when it was at its i mean i can't even say it's it's peak or whatever because it's always going up and down here and there but you know with the with the racial tensions and the pandemic and hitting mm -hmm. all these things at one time I, re I remember there's a specific moment and you posted a movement whether it was popular even with your own people or not um you know kind of deciding this is what you want to do i can't remember exactly what it was because i i don't want to misquote what it was about but i remember you putting your stance on it and just basically this is what me and my family decided we're with it yeah and you know my my real ones will understand the other ones just yeah you can do what you want to do and I, I i always i really respected that because that was another one of them posts where i thought you you were vulnerable again because yeah. you're building that fan base up, but you made that stance and i, I yeah it's like you know most people most people that i know that have fan bases didn't touch the subject you yeah know? yeah and you know i mean they got their own reasons for it i don't know i mean i don't you know i don't check nobody's brain nobody's pockets you know so yeah yeah so you know when you know when i decided to you know check up on the blm movement there that's a, and I okay and i decided to to you know basically give my opinion on it like you know, when it came to brown issues, I've always been there. You know, I've been there plenty of times, you know, and I've been on both sides, man. I've been, you know, yes. ever since I was 18, 19, dude, I was already, you know, talking to kids at the jail cells and doing, all, you know, doing, doing, doing the little bit that I can do, bro. And I think a lot of people, they think that, oh, you know, you didn't post it on social media or, yeah. you know, you're not posting it or whatever. Like, how do you know that I didn't just donate whatever I had? in my pocket and that I'm not going to sit here and try to like show you that you know what yeah. I'm saying I'm not I'm not saying you shouldn't post you giving back because sometimes posting that you're giving back will open somebody else's heart yeah, so I don't inspired. judge nobody what, what they do at the same time don't judge me if I don't post nothing right mm -hmm. because I'm doing I'm you know I'm doing on my own time but I do God's work you know what I'm saying that's just at the end of the day you know like I, I'm I'm verily involved in giving back to the community I give back you know like you know like with uh, you know my friends at Project Hope you know shout outs um, you know, to the Espinosas, you know what I'm saying? I love them, bro. Those are, like, like definitely spiritual guidance, you know, like family, dog, that I got with me. 
and you know like we're always giving back to the community and i always even like even then bro like whether whether i want to attack something or not it doesn't mean i don't care about something else you know it's like if i tell you you know like if i tell you bro i love jordans and that's all you hear from me like it doesn't mean i don't fucking love vans bro like i love other shit too i'm just you know like and and if i'm able to help every situation i can i will you know what i'm saying but it's gonna be on my own terms because Thank I gotta you. I gotta do it in the ability that God's given me. You know what I'm saying? And whether He wants me to post it or not, I'll make the decision based on my prayer. You know. And and, and you know that's that's kind of again and going back. If you guys want to rewind and and whatever you want, but the intro, um, something that's been positive to me is some of those things where you have been vulnerable because. Um, we relate on a lot of things and and you you touched on it too a lot of the the followers or the people that watch the the videos you don't know who you inspire dog so it could be someone that you talk to every day could be someone you see every once in a while it could be someone you never met but some of these things inspire me because i i feel the same way like i know what i do and i feel like but i like and and me and my brother go back and forth on this too i also growing up the way we did like we still have kind of a chip on our shoulders so sometimes i i feel the need to like jump back and say something but yeah it's always sometimes you need to say less and that's where things like what you post inspire me because sometimes you know what i'm just gonna lay back i don't need to explain myself to nobody nah you know and i do and i do a lot of stuff like even a lot of my skits are politically influenced people just don't see it you know like you know, like, or they have certain moral values, right? Like, I posted I posted a skit asking my dad to tell me he loves me, bro. Like, my dad don't tell me he loves me, bro. My dad's <laughs> a straight Mexican, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it doesn't mean he doesn't, bro. Just the way he yeah. shows it as a pat on no, the back. No, but people you know, know what, what you're saying? talking about when they so, hear this. So, in our community, right, and at yeah. least in the Mexican community, in the Mexican-American, the Chicano community, like, you know, like, our parents don't really tell us that, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. so when I posted that video, people were like, Oh wow, man! I never had that or whatever, <laughs> or like I've been through that, or that's my dad. And people don't. Pe- yeah, it's funny, but I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to teach you something, you know. Like provoke I'm, some thought. I'm man. trying to provoke thought behind yeah. the process. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and and at least, you know, like I hate to sound cliche, but if I can at least spark a little bit in you to 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 to, to take interest and then then do your thing, you know. But yeah, like I don't feel that. Pe- like don't. I want people to understand something. Like it's cool to do social media and it's cool to do all that, but. Don't feel that you have to post it to feel validated, that validated, or, or that yeah. you accomplished something, right? Like because if that's the case, and you're doing it for the wrong reasons, yeah. right? And if you want to post it, you know what I'm saying, to really help somebody, then and to inspire, then dope. That's dope, right? I mean, because I do giveaways too, where we're posting. And yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, there's there's there, there's always like, hey, love, you know, show me love, show me love back, whatever the case, right? But for the most part, bro, like. You know, if 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 you feel compelled to follow something, and even if it ain't not, if it ain't not, if, if if it may not be the most popular choice, right? Do it with you know, do it with your heart and do it with the right intentions. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. stand by it. You know, and I've I've stood by everything I've posted on social media, whether it was for black issues, brown issues, Asian issues. I just did a video with China Mac. And oh yeah. And it's called "They Can't Burn Us All." You know, and it's about you know discrimination against Asians. You know, and I and I was sitting there marching with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, where was everybody there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and so even a uh, shout out, man, to the Armenian, our Armenian absolutely, you know, and everything. Armin's and been going hard on man, that. You know what I I'm know, saying? Man, yeah, you know, he's dog. been putting in a lot of work on that, and you know, for his Armenian people, and like that's dope, bro. What like, up, dude, Armin? you know. And anytime he's asked me to post or something, bro, like, bro, don't even ask, bro. Like, shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, bro, like, you just, you know, you gotta. You know, if you're not going to post about it, cool. You know, and, and if you are, then, you know, you better be ready for the backlash that comes with it, you know? Yeah. Fortunately for me, I didn't I, I didn't get a lot of backlash. I, I got a little bit of pushback, but I was able to talk to those people, whether it was on there in the comments or they hit me on the side and were no. like, hey, bro, you know? And I'm like, well, let me explain my position. And we were able to just dialogue the shit out, you know? Even the way, that's what I'm saying, and even the way you worded it, like, like I said, those little things mean a difference. Even to someone, I mean, I can, I'm pretty strong-minded, bro, but sometimes I need those little reminders. Like, you know, I don't really need to explain. Like, a lot of the stuff we do, we don't document. And, and, and some of the things is is different reasons. Like you said, it's not always about, um, too, like a, what, what the backlash might be. Sometimes it's like I'm really living in the moment, 
and I kind of don't feel like pulling my phone out and ruining the moment, just like the old days when we didn't have those yeah, yeah. times. But yeah. it, it's like a balance for me because I'm a I'm a little bit older too, so it's like I do want to keep pushing what we're you know promoting here, a Cre- platform, yeah. our creative platform. But I also sometimes I don't I don't I don't know if it's privacy on my part, but I I, I don't want to oversaturate satur- people with seeing every little thing i do because sometimes i'm just really living in that moment and i don't want to film yeah it. like you know what i mean no so. yeah for, and, and and also people think like that what they see on instagram like they know me yeah right? yeah yeah and at the same time it's like yeah i mean i'm showing my true self and i'm and, yeah. I'm, and i'm being who i am but it's like and then they think that based on something that they already got me figured out and it's like bro there's more layers to this fucking onion you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you think you know what i'm saying like yeah you just kind of you know Especially with comedy, like it's perception, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and even then, bro, like I don't really post negative, and I don't want to say negativity or or social issues a lot, right? Because I feel that that's what other pages are for, right? If you come to my comedy, it's because I'm trying to get you away from that for a minute, right? Yeah. So if they, why would they come to like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to concrete for social issue posts? Like, w- why, bro? Like I do, I'll do, like I'll go out there and I'll do stomp that with feel you. Good comedy, I'll yeah. go out there and I'll stomp with you and I'll. You know, and I'll go and I can march for like our farm workers. And I'll go do all that, but like my page, bro. People come for relief, bro. Yeah, yeah. They come for me for the medicine, you know, yeah. not for the problem. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what I'm trying to create. And some people are like, "Oh, Conker, how come you haven't posted about this?" Or I'm like, "Because I'm here to post about this, right?" Like, and and, and again, it doesn't mean I don't care, bro. You're like, of course I it's care. Exactly bro. like what we do here at the B Side Show. We're trying to do the same. We're trying to give up just a dose of some hip hop, some uh, you know breaking some new artists that you might not have heard before. Some yeah. good Dropping vibes. some new content yeah. and just keeping the good vibes. And, you know, like, but it doesn't mean that, you know, we don't go a certain way or yeah. agree with a certain thing because we don't. Or we don't do our work for the community because right, exactly. we do do that. But we don't always just, like you said, uh, Doug, we don't always use that as our focal point to post, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, so. you know, or, 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 or just be mad about something. It's like, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you could post all you want, bro, but, like, if, like just posting about it ain't gonna make a difference. You could bring right. awareness to something, but but if we're not physically out doing something, bro, mm-hmm. things ain't gonna change, right? Like things are not gonna change. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta go out there and physically touch people, bro, and be like, hey, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Even though like with COVID nineteen, you can't physically go and touch. Yeah. But in, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like in the sense of you know like we'll do it from six feet apart. You know what I'm saying? Like we can we can always go out there and represent for our people and march for the things that we think are right. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, just try to stay positive, bro. You know, like, there's so much negativity and, in the world. Bro. And that's what we owe. And that's, you know, another, you know, a uh, very important thing, dude, is the, w- the way things are going, especially this year, is like, you know, if you were you, you know, 10, you know, before your the yeah. family and everything, 10 years, yeah. 15 years ago, same with me, um, before all that my attitude would have been way different than it is now. We have to have that structure and show um, that we can react to situations in a the most positive way. But if it comes down to it, we still got to stand our ground. But right. see, these are things like we're in a critical situation of now teaching on the like the real shit. This shit is going down and we got to show our family the positive way. Man. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. You know, and I, I'm, I like, obviously, I mean, I have a certain sense of like responsibility too with the skits that I do, like, you know, there's, there's been, you know, like there's times where I got to really like thread the needle, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, yeah. you never know who might get offended w- with what you're posting and, and stuff like that, you know, but I th- you know, like, and, and, and even then, like if I can't show my son at least five of my 10 skits, then I'm not doing something right. So I try to keep a lot of my stuff. It's, I, I don't want to say it's completely clean, but I'm not like vulgar and I don't really yeah. cuss a lot and I don't do try to too much of that stuff. You know, like I just like to be funny. <laughs> hey, you know hey speaking saying? of speaking of funny have you done any official stand-up yet uh nah no 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 what is that ever in the word i mean in the plans because i mean the <laughs> your nah. your timing and, and, and that's yeah. one of the things people don't understand comedy a lot of it is about timing but your timing yeah. is so on point i mean i think you know like there's there's different kinds of timing right like yeah, okay. there's there's <laughs> There's visual timing and on-screen comedy timing, and then there's stand-up timing, you know? And yeah. that's a whole nother Porsche. Like, that's a whole nother level of comedy, bro. Like, I'm not saying it's bigger or li- whatever. I mean, but that's like making someone laugh on stage. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it, it, it takes a different 
upbringing. That's it takes a different situation. Like, you really got to put yourself in the trenches for that. See, like me, when I do a skit, bro, I can walk away from not seeing the bad comments, right? I can walk away from it. I can do that posted and boom, I walk away. Doing stand-up, it's like you're looking at the reviews right there on Yelp yeah, into right. your face. People the are going to tell you. The hecklers People are going to let you know if you suck or if you're good, right? Yeah, yeah. And, again, that's a whole different thing. And I think to me, like, I'm in a position where I'm, I think I've found my lane. Right, and for me to want to switch something right now, I just think I'd be doing myself a this. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like I wouldn't be doing myself any good. I think I'm in a good place. I'm doing skits, and I'm getting on-screen comedy roles now, and that's and I think that's just my lane right now, you know. And but 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 props to the, I mean, that man, shout out to the king of it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, like, like to know? be able to do that because the thing is, you're, you're you're just sitting there, like you're basically everybody is sitting there. Staring right at you, expecting you to be funny. And that's yeah, it's like for. make me laugh. Yeah, but, like but that's I'm I'm paying two dollars, you know, two dollar minimum. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm at a two dollar minimum, and I gotta buy something to eat too. So make me laugh, clown. I snuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then there's people that could do the situational combo where it just depends on what the subject matter is, what's being talked about. Yeah, you I mean, throw something in here and there. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, know? like shit. I feel like if I really went at it, and, and I could, I would want to master that too. But that's, I, I don't see it in my plans, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hey, that that that's I like the way you said that though. Is there's there's lanes, and it's not t- to say people can't skip across every lane, but sometimes you just know where your your niche is, and yeah, like I think I tap I've, in on it. Yeah, man. like I think I found my lane, right? Like it was so funny, and I was having this conversation with my cousin, like I think last week, two weeks ago, somebody came up to me, and I think it was on a movie set uh, of of uh, a film I'm directing right now, and he was like. Hey man, like you know who you remind me of? And I was like, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I was like, I hope it's like, you know, George Chappelle. You're like, like, do, you know do what I want? You're like, do I want to hear this one? Right. So <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't know, right? Yeah. I didn't know. And uh, he was like, you remind me of John Belushi. Oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, hey yo, that's some. But but check this out. Like honestly, like I, I was I was kind of like, man, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Because I didn't. You know, like, I knew who John Belushi was, <laughs> but I wasn't, like, I was, you know, I was like, is it a compliment? Is it not? You know, and he yeah. was like, dog, yes, you remind me of John. And then it was like, all right, cool, man, I'll check you later. And I was like, wait, like, I couldn't even really dive into the situation, well, right? Well, right when I heard it, when you said it, I, I thought automatic, that's a mean compliment, like a dope compliment. Right, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so then a week, like, like a week and a half later, which was last Thursday. Yeah. I'm si- it was Thursday, right? I got that call you on Friday, huh, Pete? It was Thursday night, and I'm sitting there, like, some, you know, I got a video rendering, and uh, I'm just opening up my YouTube, and the John Belushi video popped up, you know, and it says, oh, shit. and it says, uh, you know, a 45-minute uh, clip of John Belushi's life. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, damn, I, okay, let me click on this shit, because I thought back of what dude had said, right? So I click on it, and it's like, uh, you know, it starts off John Belushi, one of the only comedians. Blah, blah, blah. And it was like, you know, and then they started showing stuff of like in the SNL days. And I was like, oh, shit, this was crazy. And I'm diving into it more. And then at one point, the lady that was narrating the video was like, John Belushi had the number one TV show in America. And at, and at the same time, he had the number one movie. And at the same time, he had the number one album with the Blues Brothers. And I'm like, what the f- Fuck. Yeah, like entertainment encompassed. And immediately, bro, immediately, my like my like like my whole body just like went like numb. I was like, okay, because this whole time, to be honest, like I've always I've always been an artist. I've always wanted to be a rap, right? Like that's it's it's Emmy, bro. I could rap, right? Like I, I know I could do it. I know I want to act. I know I want to fucking be in movies, right? And I'm like, dude, yeah. why am I being apologetic? I should really just go for all these things that i'm that i'm actually good at and you know i feel like i'd be cheating myself if i didn't you know and then everything just came full circle and i was like now i know what he meant okay cool so now my next three goals are to have the number one album the number one movie and the number one tv show which i'm currently working on now oh, that's yeah that's you know that's that's the, that's the way like it, it was down. it was like confirmation bro that i was like okay cool don't sleep on it yeah you know and and then like don't sleep on it and then i don't know where it was ever said you had to be in this box or this box but right yeah. i think in the last maybe um shit 10 i I, I could say 20 years because certain people are, that i've talked to have already been on this level but why can't you 
you know, be an actor, the you know, have the top movie, yeah. uh, be an artist and have a, a top song or or be a director. Like, why can't you do all of these things? And some people have proven you can. So, yeah, I mean, you know, and I started looking us? and I started looking. Right. I was like, OK, who else has done this shit? Right. Yeah. And I was like, OK, Pedro Infante. He was the number one. He had the number one movies in the golden era of, 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 of Mexican cinema. And then he also had the number one albums through this shit. I was like, OK, good. All right. So that's one. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm, you know, even 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 down to even if he had a small little role, right? But even like, for example, Eddie Murphy, right? Then he had the number one song with, you know what I'm saying? Party and party and party all the time. Yes. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, so it's possible, yeah. dog. Let's go. Or somebody like Jamie Foxx who had like, a, I think he was nominated Hello, for a Grammy, right? for an Oscar, yeah, he, and for all Luke, these different are you awards kidding me, bro? Like, like he, he's done it, right? So yeah. then I'm, I'm starting to put, I was like, man, it just, I just, you know, again, bro, it's all timing. No limits, man. It, it is all timing, bro. Master I, P said it. You know, Tupac, bro, he was a, he was a, he was a, a he would have been an A-lister, bro. Well, he he's you know? one of the ones I think that kind of broke down some of them walls, at least for a a a, a rap artist, a yeah, hip hop artist. Of course. Like he showed, like dude, he played so many roles too. He was a natural, bro. Yeah, like, no, he so was dope, he was bro. an artist, bro. He yeah, was an entertainer. Dog, he was yes. an entertainer. Yeah. He was an entertainer that happened to rap and happened to do movies, and then, and then he was charmingly funny, bro. Yeah, like Tupac was a charming dude, right? Like he was, he was. Well, you you just kind of seemed like you wanted to be around him. His smile was contagious. I mean, you know what I I'm know saying? that's why he got the the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Him, so it's like know? the dude was charming, bro. And then he would, you know, he still had the little a little bit of street and all that just that combination was just deadly in the 90s and he had it bro he had it you know and uh well i i think know? that's i think that's in entertainment is deadly everywhere like when you're a little more well-rounded and you could see yeah. beyond just being in one box and yeah and that like i'm so i'm so glad you touched on those topics bro a lot yeah. of throughout this interview you've 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 talked about like outside the box, bro. Everything yeah. everything ain't just one way. Dog. It's not like, one way, bro. And it, and it was so funny. And I think the reason I got upset when that dude said John Belushi because this whole time <laughs> I was I was seeing myself as like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, Will Smith can rap. He got Jada, yeah, yeah right, nah. which was Tupac's girl. I saw how gangster is that? You know what I'm saying? You know what? Though? And then he's doing like the biggest movies, and I was like, yeah, that's who I want to be. And so when that dude said John Belushi, but I was like, yo, but John Belushi was hella funny. You know what though? Like he was and a comedian. If, and you if know? John Belushi was a little more current, I I know he'd be able to rap for sure. Dude, I mean, he, he, <laughs> he, he no, yeah, right, right. I mean, because I mean, he was probably following like what was popular at the time, right? Yeah. Like like whatever was hitting on the airwaves or whatever you know they were doing. But again, he had the number one album with the Blues Brothers, bro. Like, come on, bro. He like, was one of them dudes that's yeah. like, uh, uh, I don't know. I just slept on's not the right word. It's just like. Uh, Forgotten, bro. Certain people Definitely are like forgotten, and just uh, geniuses just in their soon. own right. Yeah. Because, like, like Tupac, like John Belushi, these guys hadn't even done probably their best shit yet. No, and, and they, they were killing and, it. And already. they were that genius. And, they, and they, had yeah. like they had already killed it. Like they had already, they had already established like their legendaries. Like yeah. these guys yeah. are legends another already. One is, uh, Chris Farley is another one. Chris Remember, Farley, like, bro. Uh, you know what I'm too saying? Too soon, too. I mean, he was doing some stuff. Too he soon, was, bro. You know. So again, man, like if. If you're listening right now, right, and you're at work or you're going to work and you feel like this is the only thing you can do in life, you're wrong, yeah. all right? When I, after you get off of work, start putting some plans together of what is your next step, what is your next endeavor. I think what what we're meant to be on humans is to be curious, and curiosity is the best thing we can have because that means our imagination can go wild and create anything we want. So whatever you want to do after you after you get out of your nine to five, go and do it because yeah. we only got one life to live. You know and what I'm and you know what else? And and shout out to the the people that that got it right the first time or whatever. Right, found their niche. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm I still I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get my groove in, bro. Like, like alfalfa, yeah, was like hella famous, really young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like these cats, like they just hit it. Like I, I already got my groove on this. Is what I'm gonna do, and that and that's yeah. the, t the way they take. But yeah. you know, it's never like concrete saying it's not too late. 
if you do have another passion, just get involved, do what you can. And yeah, you know what for I mean? sure, dog, even I mean, if it's just help, I mean, the best thing we can do as a passion, I would encourage everybody. Let's help our communities because there's time, bro. Yeah, there's definitely sure. time. And if there, and if you think there's no time, it's because you're not creating it, you know? Yeah. There's time, bro. Yeah, there's, sure. there's make too that much time. shit. Yeah, yeah, right? ma yeah, make it happen. Hey, I mean, you know. Let me ask you this, yeah, man, up? before we uh, end this interview, bro. Um, what we can talk about, because I know you you've been mad busy all the time. But what do you got that the people can expect uh, coming forward? Um, okay, so right now we got a video with Snoop Dogg uh, coming out. Actually, we shoot tomorrow. We shoot tomorrow for that. I'm making Snoop. my first cameo. Yeah, in the big music video. So I'm doing that tomorrow. We're going to be shooting. I mean, it's going to be really dope. I don't want to say we're because I don't want to give the video away because I'm pretty sure. It's gonna, but I'm just, you know, I was told that I can't yeah, speak uh, about You it. have yeah, a bunch yeah. of cats there to yeah. be showing up. So then, uh, uh, so we're shooting that. And then uh, I'm also currently in the middle of shooting my first direct uh, directorial debut film uh, feature. And it's uh, it's called uh, uh, The Faction of a Hitman. Okay. And uh, that's with uh, Lilo Brancato, um, Mickey Rourke, Tara Reid, George Damn. Lopez. Um, that's my, you know, that's my first, big, yeah, like big movie that I'm doing. That's big shit, my brother. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So happy about that. And we're working on a, you know, we're working on some deals for some TV shows, man. I've been blessed to, you know, it was funny, man. Last year, like, I was just doing comedy, man. I wasn't thinking any of this. And this year we got deals on the table to do TV shows, you know, up, for... Man. You know, Netflix, Netflix or Fox or whoever, I don't know, whoever gives me the most money. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. You, you know, know the, bring, bring the family down to the fucking meeting. Go, yeah, look, this look, is what guys, I'm doing. This here. is what I'm dealing with, guys. Yeah, you guys, you know? let's, let's get it right the nah, first time. You know, nah, nah, you know what it is? It's, it's honestly like it's whoever gives me the most creative freedom. Yeah. You know? yeah, no, right. you know what? And, you know, <laughs> cats like uh, have come to the forefront, like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that we're at the top of the game and everything like uh, – uh, uh, Chappelle, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's about that. Is um, as long as you let me keep my integrity, my creative freedom. Yeah. We can keep know, working. Let's I learned make my lesson. Happen, I, I I learned my lesson through Chappelle's. You know, through the Chappelle's of the world. Like I've I've seen their interviews and seen. You know, again, you Deep don't know. Shit, you bro. don't know that. You know, you don't know the detail in and outs, right? Yeah, but at least yeah. you kind of get the hint that it's like a lot of it has to do with creative freedom and what you feel is degrading to you or whatever. Or, or, or what it's not, you know, and I just want to be able to control my narrative when it comes to my comedy. That's all I'm asking for. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's that's all it is. And then and then from there we can, you know, we can work and make some great content. You know, like at the end of the day, like I'm not really like trying to, you know, make nobody mad, but at the same time, like I just want to make stuff that's real and that it makes people laugh and and, and hopefully and, it makes people think. And it know? also touches on them with that family element, man. Yeah, for real. So. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely important, man. You know, just keeping the family involved and you know trying Hell to keep yeah. pushing, man. Hey, you know? uh. Any shout outs, man, before we go? Man, on? dude, shout outs to my followers. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, realistically, man, without them, bro, like, none of this is possible, bro. Like, if, you know, the people that go and comment on my posts and, and, and reshare it and do all that cool stuff, like, gracias, we like, kachingong, we like, that I have such a dope fan base and such a loyal fan base. And, you know, like, it, it, yeah, man, it's just, I mean, it's, man, I owe it all to them, man. I could. I could do everything I want to do and put it up, but if they don't support it, it doesn't mean anything. So thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's what it is, man. That full entertainment aspect, and you know. this fool's hitting all the elements, man, right here. And it's a, it, it was dope for us to, um, to have you part of our our podcast, bro, because this is like it's just a spinoff of the B side. It's just more in depth and where we can get a little more to know about an artist than. Um, Cause the the original B side B side concept was it, it was more about about like a like a hip hop entertainment tonight. So someone's yeah. dropping a new album, a new video, whatever they come by the show, you know, interview, perform, yeah, a video. But That's awesome. This yeah. show uh, podcast, we just want to get a little more in depth and get a little more background for the people that follow you and all yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, that's good, man. So, thank yeah. you guys for having me. Th man, thank man. you for coming yeah. through, man. And uh, hey, where can they get at you? One more thing before uh, yeah, we go. Yeah, man, you can follow me on all platforms at Concrete Live. Just how it sounds. Concrete, just how it's spelled, and then L I V E. Concrete Live, like live television. I'm Concrete. Yeah, yes. doing this so damn you. thing. And thank oh, you yeah, for you. coming for through, coming man. Through. Thank doing you. this thing. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in, man. Shay Whitey yes, for uh, uh, producing uh, DJ Yo, Clips. Uh, DJ Clips. Yeah, and real quick, too, up, uh, just to give you guys, um, like, to make sure you hit uh, Rabbit Season 1, right, on Instagram, or, or myself, Shay Whitey, or B-Side Show, and it's the same bio link. 
And if you hit that, you and can wake hit, it on the two yeah, tortillas. Stuff, yep. You can hit all our platforms. <laughs> uh, we're on Twitch now for our DJ stuff. We're on all that stuff. You can get the, the podcast stuff, the B-side stuff, everything. Is and, there. Oh, so and with that being thing. said, yeah, we're going to be launching our, yeah. it's basically another spinoff of our uh, DJ takeover show we used to do on the B-side show. We're going to do, be yeah. doing that. And so we got a few things in the works. And thank you guys that, that do tune in and uh, make sure you guys continue to follow us Uh We'll keep it uh, as as cool as we can. It's it's hard for us to keep up sometimes on all the social media, but we'll be getting people to help us with that. So um, thank you guys thank again. You. Once again, Rabbit Season Podcast. Let's Man, get it. We'll be dropping every Friday morning. To you. Yes, sir. The it's the B-side. Thank you, Concrete. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, guys, man. Rabbit, bro. Peace out.